This question is a GMAT data sufficiency sample question, medium difficulty question, combines concepts in two topics, statistics and progressions. Classify this question as somewhere around a 650 to 700 level question. Let's start with the question stem. What is the range of three positive integers A, B and C? Before we look into the statements, let's understand what kind of a question is this. This is asking us to compute the range of these three numbers. So the range is essentially nothing but the largest minus the smallest number. So we will be giving an answer which is going to be a value. So the answer to this question is going to be a number, a value. When is the data sufficient? If that value is unique by using the information in the statements. If you are able to say that the range is 20, if you are able to come up with one such number, then the data is sufficient. When is the data not sufficient? Then the answer that we get is not unique. What does not unique mean? It's got two components. One, if with the information we are not able to find even a single value then the data is not sufficient. If we get more than one value, even in that instance, the data is not sufficient. I am saying that the range could be a 30 or a 90 or a 120. I am saying there are multiple possible cases for the range. Even then the data is not sufficient. So unique answer is what we are striving for. Let's evaluate statement 1. Statement 1 states that 21a equals 9b equals 7c. A, B and C are positive integers, which means 21 times a positive integer will be a positive integer. So let's call all of these to be equal to an n. So it's quite evident that n is a multiple of 21, n is a multiple of 9, n is also a multiple of 7. So n is nothing but a common multiple of all of these three numbers, 21, 9 and 7. The smallest value that such a common multiple can take is what is known as the LCM. That's the least common multiple. So let's find out how low can the value of n be. Let's compute the LCM of these three numbers. Prime factorize these three numbers. The first step to computing LCM is prime factorizing. 21 will prime factorize as 3 into 7, 9 as the 3 square, 7 as a prime number. So let's not do anything. So n, I'll call it as min, the least value that n can take is the LCM of these three values, 21, 9 and 7. We have prime factorized them. How do you find out the LCM after prime factorizing? LCM is the product of the highest powers of all primes. The different primes that we see are 2. One is 3, the other is 7. The highest power of 3 is a 2, so we'll go with 3 square. The highest power of 7 is a 1, let's go with 7. So high product of the highest power of all primes is 3 square into 7, which is equal to 63. So LCM of these three numbers, which is the least value that n can take, is a 63. It's the least value that it can take is that n is a common multiple, which means that any multiple of 63 will satisfy this condition. So actually, the min value for n is 63. n is a multiple of 63. I'm going to call it as 63k. What do we have to find out? We need to find out the range of these three positive integers. What are those positive integers for us? A, B and C. We know 21A is N, which is equal to 63K. So what is going to be the value of A? A is equal to 63K upon 21, which is equal to 3K. Let's quickly find out the values of B and C along the same lines. 9B is equal to 63K implies B is equal to 63K upon 9, which is equal to 7K. And lastly, 7C is equal to 63K, which means that C is equal to 63K upon 7, which is equal to 9K. The largest number among these three is a 9K. The smallest number among these three is a 3K. So the range is equal to C minus A, which is 9K minus 3K, which is equal to 6K. K is a 1, range is 6. K is a 10, range is 60. K is a 4, range is 24. K takes different values, range takes different values. Do we get a unique value for range from statement 1? No. Without knowing the value of K, we will not be able to find. So statement 1 alone is not sufficient. Eliminate answer options AD. That's something that we know. What are we down to? We are down to B, C or E. Let's summarize these findings in the next slide in a printed form. Before we start evaluating statement 2, if that is sufficient, we'll go with B. Else, let's combine. Summarize these findings in the next slide. N is a common multiple of 21, 9 and 7. The least value that N can take is the LCM, which is equal to 63. So N is some multiple of 63. N is a 63K. Consequently, A will be equal to 3K, B will be equal to 7K and C will be equal to 9K. Range is the largest minus smallest, which is equal to 6K. Without knowing the value of K, we can't find the range. So statement 1 alone is not sufficient. Eliminate answer options A and D, get down to B, C or E. To decide whether it's B or whether we should combine, let's evaluate statement 2 alone. It says a plus 8, b and c in that order or in an arithmetic progression. The approach I'm going to take is a counter example. 
what i'm going to do i'm going to pick one example in which this condition is satisfied and see if i can get one range and i'll try to get a different value as range so i'll go ahead and say that hey i've got more than one value for the range so i haven't got a unique value so this statement is also not sufficient that is my object i'm trying to do that let's see if it's possible let's go with a plus 8 and b and c let's take this to be a 9 10 and 11 so a plus 8 b and c are in an ap so what will be the value of a a is equal to 1 b is equal to 10 and c is equal to 11 a plus 8 equals 9 a is equal to 1 what will be the range range is equal to the largest number minus smallest number which is equal to 10 so with example 1 taking these three numbers to be in an ap we got the range to be at 10 i'm going to look for a second example let's say example 2 example 2 a plus 8 b and c should be in an ap i'll go with a plus 8 to be a 9 even in this case i'll go with 11 for b and a 13 for c here the common ratio was 1 a common difference was 1 in this case the common difference is a 2 so what's the value of a a will still be a 1 b is 11 of no consequence to us c is a 13 the largest number is 13 smallest number is 1 range is equal to 12 so if a plus 8 b and c are in ap do we get a unique value for the range no we are getting multiple values you'll get infinite possible values for the range which means that statement 2 alone is also not sufficient statement 2 is not sufficient we were down to b c or e when we evaluated statement 1 because 1 was not sufficient 2 is also not sufficient let's eliminate answer option b we're down to c or e Let's combine and check out whether it's C or E. But before that, let's quickly round this up in a printed form. We're going to take the value of A plus 8 to be equal to a 9, B and C as 10 and 11, so they are in an AP, which means A is a 1, C is 11, range is equal to 10. Counter example, I'm going to go with A plus 8 to be a 9, B and C as 11 and 13. Common difference too. This is also in an AP. A will therefore be a 1 because A plus 8 is a 9. Range is equal to 13 minus 1, which is a 12. sometimes 10 sometimes 12 we can get multiple values statement 2 alone is also not sufficient it's not giving us a unique answer eliminate answer option b we are down to c or e to check whether it's c or e let's combine the two statements from statement 1 this is what we have deduced and if you recall we said this is all equal to 63k so a is a 3k b is a 7k and c is a 9k this is what we were able to deduce from statement 1 statement 2 tells us that these three numbers are in an ap if three numbers are in an ap the difference between any two consecutive numbers will be the same so essentially c minus b will be the same as b minus of a plus a because these three numbers are in an ap let's plug in the values of a b and c from statement 1 c is equal to 9k so 9k minus b is equal to a 7k 9k minus 7k is equal to b minus a plus 8 b is a 7k let's replace a with a 3k 3k plus 8 one equation one variable let's solve for it 9k minus 7k is equal to 2k 7k minus 3k is equal to 4k we'll be left to the minus 8 take 8 to the left hand side 2k to the right hand side so 8 is equal to 2k k is equal to 4 what is the range range is equal to c minus a which is 9k minus 3k which is equal to 6k do you know the value of k you know the value of k to be a 4 therefore the range is equal to 24 we have a unique answer by combining the two statements So therefore, let's eliminate answer option E. Answer choice C is the correct answer. Quickly summarize it in a printed form. We have replaced A, B, and C as 3K, 7K, and 9K into this equation. Solved for K. Found the value of K to be a unique four. If K is unique, the range is 6K, which will be equal to 24. Combining the two statements, we are able to find a unique answer. Eliminate E. Choice C is the correct answer. For your leave, two things. Sign up as a trial user at wzkwo.in/core. It's one of the most comprehensive online GMAT course. Get started with a free topic, statistics and averages. Build momentum to your GMAT preparation. Subsequently, pay up and unlock the remaining topics. Lastly, subscribe to the channel YouTube.com/Vizako and spread the word among your friends who are preparing for GMAT. You may also choose to join this channel as a member for a small monthly fee and enjoy member-only perks that come with it and will help you boost your GMAT preparation.